Hey everybody, it's Darren Cheek of uh, Ozark Mountain Lures. I was wanting to show trapping these rocky small creeks. Uh, here in this part of Missouri, you don't run into a lot of beaver and muskrat because everything's just pure rock. And that's why I, I like these spots for otter. The small, Even the smaller ones than this, this isn't very big. You can toss a rock across it, maybe 20 feet across. Not a very big creek, average creek for Missouri. This doesn't drain into any great big water source for quite a ways. But this way you have a series of large ponds that the otters come visit. Back this way you got some ponds and then it runs into the river quite a ways down. So in this area when I set this trap for otter I was thinking nothing would run into it but otter. But even at these locations I was wrong today. Uh, that's why you need to check your traps. So you can have, make sure your traps are open when the weather turns for these otters. And I got two days before we got a weather turning, so I'm trying to get traps out and get them checked. Today we got to this spot. Got a, I believe it's a Duke 330, have a rat in it. Uh, have it blocked down, no doubt in my mind when an otter comes through here, one of these traps will catch an otter. Today we got a muskrat. Got it cleared out, next check we might have an otter if we keep them cleared out. There's a trap up there where it blocks down. You can see how I got the creek blocked down on the edge. I like them on the edge. You got a Belial 280 right there. This is an awesome location. Just, just got to let them set and soak. All right, once again, we're on the rocky creeks, throwing the rocky locations. I just made a big mistake, tried to use an H stand and tried to bust it in with my foot. Now I gotta repair my hip waders, go to town and get them patched tomorrow. But I'm gonna push through it for the day, it's pretty warm out. What we got here, another Duke 330, put it on a KB. Got it attached to this. This nice stick won't go anywhere, it's in the ground over here. We got the creek runs right here, starts to kind of bend, you can see it follow the current. It's pretty deep right here, but if you were standing here, you could see that it's almost a, a channel, pre-made channel where the current runs. That's where this trap's gonna go. It's gonna go right underwater. I'm gonna go ahead, take my safeties, safeties off. A lot of rock, it's hard to get in. Set that thing down right there, that trap down right there. Again, we're gonna go with rebar because it's so rocky in here. It's going in pretty good. I prefer it to go in all the way down where the rebar is out of in the water. Again on this side, running in between the jaws of the pounder. Run this down all the way to this other piece of rebar. We hit some pretty hard rock there. Anyways, that ought to hold. We hit a rock there, so it ain't gonna go much deeper so now right here this is already this is already in here good enough walking down the creek this what I call a bramble here I don't know if that's the technical term but that's what I call it throughout this bramble right here walking down this side on this side we're gonna use rock I went and picked us picked up some rock again I'm gonna lay this big one I can see it right here on this spring. Just start building a wall. There's a flat rock I lay on top of it. My boots are filling with water right now too, which really doesn't put me in the best of moods when this happens because of my own stupidity. I'm trying to 
do something different. Try and do the easy way around it. And look where it got me. It's usually what, how it goes. So, I found this debris washed up over here. And this will be enough debris in here to make that otter when it comes through rethink. So now that trap is bedded in pretty or in there pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take some rocks and lay on that other spring while I'm here. So now that creek is blocked completely down. On this, with the rebar making the X, that almost is enough to make that otter dive, but just to be on the safe side, shouldn't be any beavers in here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a dive stick. Just like so. Utilize my rebar here. Knocked it out. Current's running this way, so I better put it in right here. I'll tell you what, if you guys ever decide to make YouTube videos, once that camera starts rolling, you might as well plan on for nothing to go right and easy like it should. Oh well. That set's complete, ready to go to the next. All right, this is that set location I showed with the Rocky Creek setting two days later. Doing my check. Bam. Got a nice otter. Got him in the. Damn, this is a big old otter, too. Duke. 330. This is a nice otter here. Just like I showed. Walk this set down. Got an otter. This is the first check on this at this location. First check of the day. The rest of the day can't can't complain now. Got something on the very first location. Kind of weird how I got him here. Somehow he got up in between this spring. I would say that happened after the conibear got on him. This happens every once in a while, and it's kind of a pain, too. That's a big male. He's a traveler by himself. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to get him out of here. Big ol' otter. Big ol' male. Got him right around the midsection. It looked like he fought the trap a little bit, but he didn't couldn't have fought it very hard because he didn't move it, move any debris. And that's right there. How you get rid, how you catch otters 
in these rocky creeks like that where it's hard to Spring. This ain't a, these aren't very good tool setting tools. I like my Sleeping Creek the best, which I can't find right at the moment. So I've been carrying those. I'm pretty sure I know where they're at. I'm gonna go get them today. Man, this is a big otter. That's what's great about February, trapping these creeks like this, especially these small ones. The big boys are running up and down. I'm looking for girlfriends. Trying to get him out of here before I turn the camera off so I can show you how big he is. There. That's a nice otter there. Jet black too. Big male. Can't beat that. Talk to you again here in a little bit, hopefully. On a new locate, another spot here on this first check. Got the creek blocked down. Nice rocky creek. See, I blocked it down with some debris here I found right along this bottom edge. And that bottom edge is a lot deeper than it looks right there. And then we got another block down area right along that you can see i got a a 330 330 duke or bridger set nothing's in it come right down here to this spot and you can already you can see second otter of the morning get paid her not a big otter but i know real pale otter though Dang. Real nice pale pale. He'd been worth some money back in when the otter prices were up. I barely got him. That was not a good catch. Guess it don't matter. He's going home with me today, but we're on another location. Small creek. Well, it's not really small. It ain't a river, but it it's a creek. I'm trying to clean my camera real quick here sorry anyways i had this spot blocked down this spot was kind of a pain in the ass because it was hard to block down because the current is so bad it just kept washing out luckily it held i get here this afternoon see my traps missing and i can see what i got already having a pretty good day for the first check of the year for the first check i waited around and didn't get as much set as I'd like to. I had this one on an H stand and I'm debating resetting it because it's such a pain to set in the first place. I'm thinking about making a foothold set for beaver here because there's a lot of beaver coming. But if you go right here, my trap. We got the prize we've been for wanting. Big, big male otter. I'm telling you, they're moving this time of year. It's mid February. Can't complain about that. We got three more traps up the river to go check, or the creek. This is the first one we come to. Got a nice otter in it. Big old boy. I think I'm gonna leave him in the trap and carry him back like this. We're at that location that I just caught the big otter at. The very, right before this one. We're down here. Looks like we got another otter to me. Uh, it's on a bottom edge. There's a shelf along this, ed this edge and there's a nice, what? Traditionally, we call a bottom edge that people would use for meat. Right here, I kind of blocked it down. I put a, uh, I think there's an H stand there. Put a Blyle 330 on it, and it looked like we hit pay dirt again today. I've not got all my traps checked for the day. I've got three more locations to go, 
and this is my fifth otter for the day. The most I've ever caught in one day is five, so I might break, break my, my record, which five, a lot of guys are catching a lot more than five a day. Uh, you get up down south Louisiana, Arkansas, you can pretty put down the numbers doing this stuff here, but you also gotta contend with a lot more beaver than I do. Number five, hit a Belisle, I think. Yeah, Belisle, pretty big otter, probably a male. Another traveler. Yep, yeah, it's a male. All right, everybody, it's Darren Cheek from Ozark Mountain Lures. Had a little snow last night, and I was out headed to headed to town this afternoon to, to do some running. And if you look down the road, you go around that corner down there, and my house is just right around there. I've lived there about six months, and this little creek I'm on, live by it's dry a lot in the been dry throughout the summer some and but it's been wet since trapping season started and i was looking at the map about three four miles up it turns in it runs into a pond and that's the head of it and it's a pretty good sized pond almost a lake and there's several series of ponds around it so i know otters will be going up there that time of year looking for females and uh, I went ahead and set about a week and a half ago, like I said, and every day I drive through here, I check my trap, there's nothing in it. I wait, right here I have a, a Bridger 330 in that pipe, but before you get to the pipe, I had a 280, or I'm sorry, a Duke 330 set here on a block down on a kind of a little miniature bottom edge. Had it staked in, and today there lays the prize. Nice otter. It looks like it's going to be a male. It's not a great big otter, and I didn't really get a great catch on him, but nevertheless, it's an otter, and I got him caught, so I'm happy about that. Don't pass up these small little creeks. They're easy targets. Catch these things on. Off to the next one.